I'm not going to be long on this video. I'm going to make some black people upset with me. There's some black people that may even unsubscribe to me um, because of what I'm about to say. After this whole Kyle Rittenhouse ordeal and how a lot of black people responded to Carl Rittenhouse when he was exonerated. He was found not guilty and it upset so many black people. They called him a white supremacist. They called him a racist. They say that he got off on white privilege. But Kyle Rittenhouse was a supporter of Black Lives Matter. Yes, Kyle Rittenhouse, the same one that you refer to as a racist and white supremacist, was a supporter of Black Lives Matter. He protested in behalf of Black Lives Matter. And now he's a white supremacist and a racist. I want to say to white people out there that support Black Lives Matter, white people that protest with Black Lives Matter, you supporting Black Lives Matter is like black people supporting the KKK. You carrying Black Lives Matter signs and shaking your fist in the air saying Black Lives Matter and you're creating destructive energy supporting black people. I'm not sure if it's because of guilt or if it's really in your heart that you're standing for the cause of black people, but you should be far away from Black Lives Matter. You should no longer support Black Lives Matter because Black Lives Matter is not for you. Because in spite of all the protesting and support that you are showing with Black Lives Matter, doesn't matter how much money you donated or raised for Black Lives Matter, that mind you, do not go to benefit the black community. Regardless of what you do, you will be called a white racist one day. If you happen to commit a crime in self-defense, well, better yet, it's not a crime if it's self-defense. So if you defend yourself against a violent attacker and you're found not guilty, you will become a white supremacist, according to many black folk. In spite of the fact that you supported Black Lives Matter, you would now become a white supremacist, a racist, and you were found not guilty because of white privilege. So it's not a good idea for you to be a part of Black Lives Matter. And if I was you, I would be far away from Black Lives Matter. That destructive energy, that destructive force. As a white person, you should be far away from it and not support it. Because Black Lives Matter is against you. You are being used by Black Lives Matter like black people are being used by the Democrat Party. They're only using you to promote their agenda. See, there is strength in numbers. And by you supporting Black Lives Matter, you're giving strength to their numbers. You're helping them to destroy America. And the same thing applies with Antifa. No black person should be supporting Antifa. But that's a different story. But to white people that support Black Lives Matter, I would strongly suggest you be far away from Black Lives Matter 
because it's not for you. And they will turn on you one day. You will become a white racist and a white supremacist like Kyle Rittenhouse that rightfully defended himself. But now he's a white racist. So feedback. Tell me what you think until next time. I'm fearless.